see the numbers going, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I wanted to talk to you about the, um, the power steering hose. I, I found out the, um, the, the high, high pressure side, the power steering hose, is, um, is too long. So I had to cut it down. And I went down to CBX, clutch brake and exchange over here, right off of 99. And um, I, I thought that you'd have to talk to them about shortening it, you know, that they would, because they make lines and such like that. And he says, well, no, the type you have, you just unscrew it. So all I do, it was this fitting right here, and you unscrew this, turn to the left, and this will come off. But this one is reverse thread. It goes over the hose. You, you turn it um, right to loosen it up, and you turn it left to tighten it up. So it's reversed. So now I get it off, so I just have to cut it, cut eight inches off and put it back on. And we'll be good. Okay? It's dark. All right. Thanks. Hi. Okay, here's a follow-up of um, those power steering lines. This is the, the high-pressure line right here that um, I shortened about 8 inches and I got that guy mounted and the low-pressure line it goes from the from the fitting over to the one with the clamp right here it's got a um, like a bubbled out end on it. It's really hard to get over that end. Hopefully, I got it over enough, and I got a clamp on it. So, put some power steering fluid, and hopefully, um, no leaks. I do have one leak on um, on one fuel field fuel line, uh, 90 degree elbow. I need to change that out. Craig said that he was going to um, make me a, a low elbow to so fit it. So hopefully eliminate that one. So slowly in, getting it closer. But uh, one more step, the power steering lines are on. Okay. That's it for this little update. Bye. I wanted to add this one part about um, the headlight switch that I got. I got this headlight switch from Speedway. Speedway, there's the part number. Um, I got it in, and I says, well, this is pretty easy to install. Here it is on the on the dash, but for the life of me, I couldn't figure out. I thought the thing would just unscrew the knob there, but what they they don't tell you. I didn't even notice it until after I started looking at it. So I tried, I got to to unscrew it, but underneath it, I don't know if you can see it. Oops, if I have the camera on it. But there's a little tiny set screw. You have to you have to unscrew it. It takes a really small hex. And you unscrew that, then then the um, 
the knob will unscrew and take it off. And then you can put, put it into the hole and, and insert it. So I wanted to let you know about that part. It, it, um, it's timing me for a little bit, but um, we got it. Get excited! Um, I got got it started the other day. I just, there's a few few fuel leaks and things I have to I have to fix transmission leaks too. I have to fix them um, before um, before I get it going all the way. But that's it for now. All right, bye.